can put all your stuff in here as soon as I clear everything out. You know, I, I don't want to be a hassle. You're not a hassle. No one's using that thing, right, Jess? No. No, see? Oh! oh look at these. You want to wear these tonight? Mm -hmm. Mind if I pass? Oh, but you look so cute in these, Good. Max. Look, trust me. The kid does not want to wear those things, right? Hey. Hey. Are you sure you're okay with this? I mean, I know yeah. we just started being a couple, and I'm already moving my brother in. Oh, I'm fine with it. I mean, before Bill and Michelle moved, out, those four of us in. And there was no privacy then either. So what? We'll work it out. Have I told you how wonderful I think you are? Look at us. Here we are. <laughs> Just like I imagined. And my brother, too. <laughs> I'm glad you're happy. I've never been so happy, Jesse. Every time I look at him, I just can't stop smiling. I think he's the best thing that's ever happened to me. And you. <laughs> what do you want me to do? You gotta go talk to Frank. Look, you gotta convince him not to rock the boat on Oh, come on. Look, I'm sorry to ask you that, man, but if Drew finds out that she's not related to Max, it's gonna kill her. Okay, and I love her. I, I wanna see her happy. Uh, listen, um, you know, I know this is Jesse's space and everything, and if he's got a problem with me living uh, here... We weren't even talking about that, okay? Don't worry about it. I just, I just don't want to cry at anybody. Yeah, you're not. You're not. I'm fine with it, all right? Don't worry about it. So, how come you got that something's wrong look in your face? Okay, all right, okay. We have to get to England. We have to find a way to get to England. Yes, and we, we have, have three hours to get there. Okay, so think of something. Are you sure we have to be our in person to claim this prize? I mean... I, I've told you 30 times, but, yes. No, can't... I mean, can't we just fax a copy of the no, ticket to him? What's the matter with that? Fax it. We cannot mail it. We cannot Pony Express it. You have to be there in person to pick up the cash. Well, God, you mean they're going to give us just the cash? They're going to... Oh, you the cash? Yeah, boy, is that a problem? Yeah, you put in a oh. Santa bag and drag it out of there if we get you there. Well, that's a big if. Press. This is a nightmare, Buzz. It's a nightmare. I mean, it's looking like it's going to be impossible. I mean, unless you're Superman. No, maybe I am. What? Nothing is impossible. Jenna got this tickets to rebuild the star all over again. I'm not going to let her down. I knew it. I knew that you were coming back to uh, me. So you were the only thing on my mind. to kidnap my son from the hospital. I was bringing him here to recuperate. Here in the lighthouse? Well, I'm sorry. He's going right back to the hospital no. where he belongs. You're not, I'm not going anywhere. No. no, no. No more arguments. Not this time. You need constant care and, and a hospital, Danny. I have exactly the care I need right now. Danny. Right here. This is not going to help. It already is helping. I'm beginning to remember what happened that night. The night of the accident? I remember feeling that I had to hurry back because of Michelle. No. But I can't remember Danny, why. I'm sorry, Do but you? I insist that we have to go back to the hospital. No, no he's staying no, right here with me. I'm his wife, and he belongs with me. Get out of my way, Michelle. Mother. I'm not giving you a choice, Carmen. Stop playing these childish games if you don't get out of my way. What? I'm what are you going to do? Kill me?
I did not come here to fight with you. No, you came here to make sure that Danny did not remember why he was coming back to Kielfield. Why was he driving back here 90 Look, miles an hour? I have no time for this nonsense. Why was he so upset that he crashed his car and almost died? It was a died. terrible accident. Now I've had just about enough of this. Dietz. Yes, it's me. I found Danny. Yes. Yes, I want you to come here right away so we can you can help me bring him back home. No, I'm not he going was with home. with Michelle. Yes. It seems as though she kidnapped him from the hospital. We, we can't seem to get rid of her. Mother. That's right. Sending Daddy away is not going to be enough. As long as Michelle Bauer is still alive, she's a threat to this family. In order to protect my son, I have to get rid of the problem. Uh, Wait, Danny! Uh, what are you, out of your mind? No, I'm getting it back. I know what you did. I did. I don't know what you're it talking about. It was you. About. Mother, it was you. You're why I came back. You were going to kill Michelle. Look, Max, Drew has been alone for a long time. You know, she never had a mother. Her father died. She could really use a brother in her life. You know, and I'm going to do everything in my power that you stick around when this works out. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Look, all I'm trying to say is I'm really glad you two found each other. You don't look so glad. I just got a lot on my mind, okay? <clears throat> Guilty. <laughs> you're bummed, right? Three's a crowd. No, he's not bummed. He's glad you're here. That's what he's saying, right? Yeah. Look, I used to think at first that, you know, you were going to take advantage of you, try to use her to get ahead. I don't think that anymore. Why not? Well, you two are family. There's no way I'm going to interfere with that. What he's saying is you belong here, Max, with me, and nothing is ever going to change that. Listen, guys, I got a couple errands to go run. You got errands? What? I'll be right back. <laughs> Chill out, all right? See you guys in a bit. So, what do you need to get settled in? All right, I gotta talk to Buzz. Make sure he talks to Frank and puts a lid on it, because if he lets this out, everybody's gonna be sorry. The role of Harley Cooper Spaulding is being played by Haley Sparks. Yes, hey, look, hey. I need a real big favor. What? I need a two-second answer. For what? 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 I'll buy the store, I'll buy the block, I'll buy the city. What? I won the British sweepstakes. Here it is, here's the ticket. If you I joke, I, yeah, I got the ticket. Jenna got this ticket. I don't, the only hitch is I got to be there in person or I don't get the million dollars. You won a million dollars? Yeah, and I got three hours, less than three hours to get, you know, to London. To London? Or then that's where you come in. With me? Yeah, I, can, I, can I rent the, the company plane? Buzz, it's a it's a jet. It's not the con. I don't care. I, I don't know how I'm gonna make this happen, but I'm gonna make it happen. Do I get the plane or not? Wait a, wait a minute. Uh, what? Wait a minute. Put it out. It's a British consulate in Chicago. Oh yes. yes. Wait a minute. That's, yes. That's British yes. jail. You can beat that. Do I get the plane or not? Yeah, you can have the plane. Just go. I'll call the pilot no, look, and have him file the plane. Give me. This is to give me. I'm, I'm gonna pay you every you cent it costs. Dad, come yeah, on. Absolutely. You know what a charter jet? I'll pay you. I'm going. Okay. Oh no, the boys. The boys. The lady. The lady's got the boys to to tell him that I've gone to Chicago to buy toys for him. You know. Oh, and tell Frank to open the floor! Ah! Frank! Frank wanted me to tell you something was important. Uh, please, tell him from Chicago. We have to go uh, now. Come on! Look, you call from the airport. Okay, there's, there's a phone on the this plane. Okay, okay, Which okay, okay. Oh, look at the text! <laughs> Unbelievable. But you guys were just friends. Well, he was seeing someone else. Michelle Bauer. Even though you liked him. Even though I liked him. But it's not that way anymore. Now it's perfect. And I am very lucky, Max. If you ask me, he's the lucky one. You know something? I'm starting to like you more and more every minute. <laughs> so, uh, it's serious now with him. I like him a lot, if that's what you mean. So you're not just friends anymore? What are you getting at? You know. No, I don't. Yeah. All right, I'm your kid brother, right? But I've been around. I know the score. You and Jesse need, you know, time to be alone. Shit. Oh. <laughs> well, um, yeah. Yeah, everyone needs privacy, right? That. Hey, you need your privacy, right? 
Uh, it's not something I would know a lot about. What do you mean? You never had your own room? Well, in some of the foster homes, there was maybe three or four guys to a room. So you never had your own room? That place where you go to, to be alone, to, to close the door, lock it if you wanted to? Closest I ever came to that was the men's room at Bolorama. Okay, that, that's my first priority, then. What is? We're going to build you a bedroom. Hey. You taking a break? Yeah, my shift is almost over. Well, you want to sit down? Sure. Thanks. You seem like something's on your mind. Yeah. I was just thinking about my mother. I was thinking about how I always thought she was one of those mommy types, like on TV, you know? <laughs> Do you have a fever, darling? Did you scrape your knee? I just thought that she could kiss everything and make it feel better. Even from far away, I always thought that she was somehow looking out for me. You feeling kind of lonesome? No, it's not that. My mother was here earlier, and she asked me where Danny was. I thought Danny was in the hospital. Michelle thought my mother might. Might what? You know, that she might be dangerous to her own son. Can you imagine that? A mother that actually hurts her own children. Are you afraid of her? No. Yes. I don't, I don't know. You don't know? All I know right now that she's going to be really upset when she finds out. Finds what out? I helped Michelle get Danny out of the hospital. I know, I thought it was a good idea at the time, but now I'm not so sure. I'm really worried about what she's going to do. You don't think uh, that she would... Right now, I really don't know what to think. You know, I remember it, though. Don't touch me. I was in my car. I was going to the airport. And I called you from the car. And I told you... I told you not to hurt Michelle. But even though I'm leaving town, then I forget our agreement. Yes, and I, I said you to leave that I alone. would. I know what you said. But you lied. Why would I lie to you, then? Uh, You're my son. Why would I have any please, reason to tell you anything uh, but the truth? You said you wanted to get rid of her. I don't know. That she was still a threat to I the family. I don't know what you're talking about. I heard you. You were talking to Dietz over the phone. I heard you. Stop this. Stop you this crazy You said you were talk. planning her execution. Danny, no. you are imagining things. No, not. I don't know what you, you, said you, wanted you dreamt it while you were unconscious. In a tasteful manner. That you wanted to, Danny, to, to look like like an accident. You have That's had a serious no. head trauma. You're delusional. No, it's I'm possible. Fine. Think about it. Are you were to I am totally clear. You were planning to kill Michelle. No. No, I, I never meant to harm Michelle. I am totally clear. No. I know what you were up to. Sit down. Uh, Please sit down and come back to your senses. I am fine. Is this true? Did she call you? She called me and told me to come out. Uh -huh. And then what? Did she threaten you? She said that it was judgment day. I never judgment said that. Day. You never said that. You called me and told me that Danny wanted to see me and he wasn't even there. Uh -huh. Listen to her lies. He couldn't wait to do what she pays him for. Can't you see what she's trying to do, Danny? She's, yeah. she's poisoning your mind oh, against me. Oh, she doesn't have to. You did that all by yourself. You, uh, you would take the uh, word of a total stranger against your own she mother. She is my wife. Yes, but I'm your mother. I'm the one that held you to my breast when you were a baby. I'm the one that walked you to school every day. I'm the one that tucked you into bed night after night. I'm your mother. Oh, you are not. You are not a mother. I never want to see her face again. Can't you see what she's doing to you? Can't you see she's trying to destroy you? She's trying to destroy this family. No. You you are on your way out of town to start a, a whole new life. This life is with me. 
His life was never with you. Carmen, you've done everything humanly possible to come between us, and we're together now because nothing has worked, and there's nothing you can say, and there's nothing you can do that's going to come between us. Oh, really? If my son cares so deeply for you, why is it that he slept with your best? Okay. <laughs> Everything's set. Pilot's on his way to the plane. I guess you'd like me to say thank you. Yeah, that'd be nice. Mm. I mm. don't know when I have ever been more proud of you. Really? Old dog, new tricks. Old dog. You're learning. What do you, wait a minute, old dog? What are you talking about? Well, the way you handled Dad's request to borrow the company plane when he insisted on paying you didn't argue mm. with him. That. That? That is a very big that. Yeah, well, you know, we could have solved this problem. Would not have been hard. He didn't have to fly out of here, rushing off to the consulate, praying he was going to make it in time. So what are you saying? You would have written him a check for a million dollars? Yes, absolutely, in a heartbeat. And you stopped yourself. I did. That's very good, Philip. Mm -hmm. That's very, very, very good. You're making fun of me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wouldn't do that. But you have to understand that my dad is a very proud man. Mm -hmm, I know he is. There's just one problem. Have you thought about what's going to happen if he gets to Chicago and he doesn't make it in time? And he doesn't get the million dollars? He's going to have to take three jobs to pay me back. Well, how much could a one-way ticket cost? On a private jet? 15, 20 grand? Mm-hmm. He's going to be working nights. Weekends. You actually may never see your dad again. Or maybe he will get there in time, collect the money, invest it well, launch a successful coup, and take over Spalding. Mm. Imagine that. You'd like that, you, you? working for my dad. Mm -hmm. Oh, you'd really like that. <laughs> get to boss me around. I would, hey, I do that already. Maybe I better call the pilot. Tell him to take uh, the away. You wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. Let me think about it. Take the long way. I get it. <clears throat> Jesse, hey. Hey, is Buzz around? Uh, no. He just uh, went to claim a million dollars. That's funny. Really, where is he? Um, I'm serious. Yeah, he just won the British sweepstakes, which means in exactly two and a half hours he has to claim that prize. You are looking at a millionaire's daughter. Maybe. You're not kidding. No, it's true. This is great. All yeah. right. He deserves it, especially now. So he just bought a ticket? One like that? Well, Jenna bought the ticket, actually. But yeah, that was it. But what do you need? Can I help you with something? Well, do you know if he talked to Frank before he left? Well, actually, he said something about calling Frank, but he was going to do it from the plane. Why? He just had to take care of something really important for him. Um, is there a problem? See, so, yeah, I need Drew to get custody of Max. He had uh, to talk to him. Oh, yeah, Max, huh? Well, if you ask me, she's a saint for taking him in. He's not that bad. And actually, if you believe it or not, they're pretty good for each other. Uh-huh. Well, I wonder how long that will last. A while. At least I hope. Uh-huh. You don't mind having him hang around? No, actually, Drew needs someone just like Max around. <clears throat> it's the best thing for her right now. But listen, I, I better go. Oh, yeah, yeah, you better, before he burns the club down. Come on, that was an accident, okay? Uh -huh. Time will tell, won't it? Help Buzz, congratulations. Thank you. Don't you have better stuff to be doing, like taking care of your club? I want to build you a bedroom. All by yourself? No, you're helping. Don't you need, like, a carpenter or something? No, you, know, you need a contractor, and I'll call the one who... Built the club first thing in the morning. Now we're 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 improvising. Oh look it, see? Go ahead. Get it. Thank you. You're slow. Yes, I am. I'm not hiring you. <laughs> Here, I guess I'll just be the Pierre. You know, it almost seems like you're enjoying yourself. I am enjoying myself. I used to build forts all the time when I was a kid. I used to steal all the sheets in the house and then, then create my own secret little hideaway. I didn't have any brothers or sisters, so I'd just pretend. Pretend you had brothers and sisters? Yeah, and, and all kinds of imaginary characters. And the best part was I didn't have to share my candy with anyone. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. 
And they always liked me, too. You would be surprised how popular I was. I used to, uh, crawl inside there and, and feel safe and protected and loved. You didn't always feel that way? I was a lucky kid, you know. I had, I had everything money could buy, but I was... I was a little lonely. Yeah, I know the feeling. Not that I don't have any friends or people to hang out with, you know. I know. So, what do you think? It's coming along okay. It's good. It's actually kind of cool. Yeah. Things are going to be different now, Max. I promise. Listen, um, you know I'm not all that good at saying stuff like thank you, right? It's okay. But I, I do want you to know that I really am grateful for everything you've done for me. I, I want to do things for you, Max. You're my brother. And Jesse was kind of right. You know, I, in the beginning, I, I couldn't stop thinking of ways I could scam you or how much I could get at you. But it's not like that anymore. Like you don't have to say anything. No, I, I do, because cause it's true. I, I really like you, Drew. I like you too, Max. And, and I swear, you know, even if you were penniless and living on the street, I'd, I'd still be really glad I was your, I was your brother. <laughs> I know the adoption records are sealed, but this is a police matter. Thank you. Her name is Drew Jacobs. She and Max Nickerson should share the same mother. Her name's Dorothy Nickerson. Oh, come on, listen, I, I've called you three different times. Can't you just write it for me now, please? Your father's online, too. Could you take a number? I'll call him back later. No, I'm on a... I'm calling from a plane headed to Chicago. Well, I'll, well, I'll try again a little later. You get any message? <sighs> yeah, tell Frank to pick up next time. It's important. Say that again? Drew and Max are not related. No, 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 that's, uh, that's fine. Thank you. How about a foot robe? Uh, I do not think that a foot robe would do anything to this overactive little bundle of joy. But a song might. Mm -hmm. What's that? Oh, I, I don't think she knows that one. He's making requests? Yeah, you know, she's really into heavy metal right now, but I figure if we work with her a little bit, we might be able to turn her around. Actually, you know what? I don't think he wants to hear a song. Oh, yes, she does. No, he knows what his mommy likes. Come here. No, I'm relaxed. Uh, her mommy is very romantic. Do you remember when you uh, had a little too much to drink and you serenaded me? Her mommy wants you to know that she fell in love with you all over again that night. Well, see, the problem is that I'm now stone cold sober, so... So? I'm not going to abuse anyone. No, Let alone my unborn child with you my singing voice. You have a beautiful Amazing. voice. Yeah, I love it, See, he please. said he passes. No. Says thanks, but no thanks. No, Something like please, that can bring on premature please. labor. Please. Right. Oh, what is a couple of bars between family? I'm not singing. Oh, God, it's so sexy. La, 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 la. Come on, sing to me. All right. 99 bottles of ah, beer. Oh, 99 gosh, bottles please of beer. Stop. Something slow and sweet. I don't think that'll go over too well at the fraternity. Mm, depends on what fraternity you're joining. You don't give up, do you? Mm -mm. Slow and sweet. Make me cry. That should be easy. Mm -hmm. You are my sunshine. My only sunshine, you make me happy. Kills me, you love this. When my skies mother. are gray. So strange about my mother. It's like all of a sudden she's the enemy. She wasn't always like that? No. I have this memory when I was a little girl. It's like my first memory. I would wake up Saturday mornings and sneak into my parents' bed and just snuggle and hug them and feel so loved and so safe. I can't remember the last time I felt like that. What happened? I don't know. <laughs> I'm still trying to figure that out. <laughs> well, your family has quite a reputation. I'm actually amazed that you didn't hear anything at school about it. 
Well, I was sent away, remember? Obviously, my mother didn't want me to grow up around the family business. Yeah, you were protected. No, more like isolated. There's a difference. <laughs> well, you must have had some friends. Well, it was a very expensive boarding school. There was a lot of girls. Very privileged. Some were very nice, but I never really fit in. Why not? I don't know. I was always thinking about coming back home. You know? I would, like, make up these crazy stories and excuses why I should stay in Springfield. They never worked. <laughs> never? <laughs> no. Finally, I just gave up hope on the whole idea that my mother would just come and take me home. I finally realized that was never gonna happen. So what'd you do? You know, I read a lot. I really got into the 19th century literature. I know. But it's kind of like the way I lived my life, you know? Like the little rich girl, protected, living in a different time. <laughs> well, you don't have to live that way anymore. That part of your life is over. You can do anything you want. Yeah, I guess so. So what do you want? What's going to make you happy? I don't know. I guess that's why I'm so scared. Get out. <gasps> Daddy, I'm sorry. I don't want you to leave. I'm sorry. No. I, I never you. meant to bring this up about Drew and Get. you. Get out. You see, yeah. you think you know my son. You think he belongs to you. But as you can you see, do what I he doesn't. Get out. Leave. Go home. No, Get Danny, out. please. Think about it. Think about it. Okay, I'm trying to save you. Now think about what this means. I never want to hear from you. Again. Okay. I never want to see you. I made a mistake. I don't care no anything mistake. about you and Drew. Shut up. No. Shut up. No. Because I love you, and that's never going to change. You don't love me. You don't love anyone but yourself. There's no love here. You look at me. You look at me in the eyes. Are you telling me you don't love me? You look in my eyes and tell me if you mean it. Whatever I once felt for you is gone. You killed it. No. No. No, Daddy. Stay out of my life. Stop it. Open the door. Daddy, listen to me. What you need is to get out there. <laughs> Laugh, smile, be crazy, do whatever. Go nuts. Uh, I think my family has the crazy part pretty much covered. <laughs> do you remember when you were pretending to be a waitress? Yeah. You were smiling, smiling like crazy, laughing. I don't think I've seen you laugh since then. I know, it's just my mother and... Forget about your mother, okay? We're talking about you. What do you want to do? Honestly, I don't know. Well, think about it. What do you like? I don't know. Well, come on, you can do better than that. What, what makes you smile? Roses. <laughs> I don't know. Don't ask me. <laughs> Tell me. Okay. Roses. White ones. And I love shrimp cocktail. Oh, and carriage rides through Central Park. I love New York. And what else? I like soccer. And Tom Cruise. And... <laughs> what? And you. I like you. 
I like that you're my friend and that you care about me. I really like that a lot. Me too. Did you sleep with Drew or not? Yeah. Oh. I did. Oh, please don't, don't turn away from me. No, I, I can't be here right now. So no. it was just, it was once. No. It was one time. It was that night that you told me that you turned me into the FBI. You were so disappointed in me that, that you you slept with my friend. No, I was crazy. I was furious, Michelle. And, and you this... betrayed me. So this was revenge. No, I look. I don't know how to explain it. I felt like I was shot through the chest. I was. I wanted to get rid of the pain. So, I... so Drew made you feel better. What make this make sense for me, Danny? Drew. She found out that she was adopted. She was freaking out, and we, we just we got drunk. And you and didn't know what you were doing. I knew what I was doing. I was trying to make it through one of the worst nights of my life. Wrong answer. I thought our marriage meant something to you. Uh. Well, it meant a hell of a lot more to me than it ever meant to you. How can you say that? How can I say that? You made it very clear from the beginning, Michelle, that you never wanted to be married to me, that you felt nothing for me, that you would never want me like I wanted you. That so changed, Danny. How was I supposed to know that? All you ever talked about was Jesse. Well, Jesse's with Drew now, and if he finds out about this, I mean, if he even suspects that Drew's love with you, he... Oh, my God. Oh, my God, he knows. Yeah, he, he figured it out, he knows. I can't believe this. I can't believe that everybody knows! I am never gonna forgive you for this, Danny. Never. It's five of eight. Oh, oh sure. you yeah. did it. It's five of eight. It's five Where's of eight. The ticket? Where's, Where's the, the ticket? ticket? Damn. Where is it? Just, just, here. Just, I got it. Okay. Buzz, buzz, what? buzz. What? You know what this means? Yes. Yeah. Yes. We won the race. We I'm a millionaire. But we did it. Look at your prize. Oh, yes. What are we waiting here for? Let's go. Mm -hmm. You ready to go home? Mm-hmm. Sure. But I, I want to tell you something first. I never, in my wildest dreams, thought that I could be this happy. I could sing. Maybe we should sing a happy song. Maybe we should just go home and get mm -hmm. Okay. Come You're on. always so full of good ideas. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Is it 8 o'clock yet? Uh, just passed. Oh, gosh, I hope that Selena and Dad made it to the British consulate in he time. You better make huh? it to the consulate, because it's going to kill me if I can't put him up for membership at the club. Uh-huh. Got to take him on yacht races. I have to take him to afternoon teas. Is that know, a... Kind of stuff that millionaires do. Is that before or after he kicks your rich butt and takes over small okay, things? see, that's the second time for that comment. Mm -hmm. See, now there will be repercussions. Mm -hmm. No more singing. No more singing of any kind. Oh. That's it. Excuse me! Look, Excuse whatever it is, we'll have to wait until... No, this can't, can't wait. Just lock up. This can't wait. Show her the ticket. Oh, here, here. I, I won the sweepstakes. Did, check it out. I don't need to check it out. Oh, no. I'm sorry. You don't understand. See, Mr. Cooper here has won the British sweepstakes. Here's his ticket, and he's here to claim his prize. No. Now, I'm terribly sorry, but it seems that you're about two minutes too late. No! We're three minutes early. Not according to my calculations. What? Well, your calculations are wrong. 
I'm tired. I want to go home. Well, go wherever you want to. Just, I, I have to see the consul. I'm afraid that's impossible. I demand to see the consul. Where is he? He's in a meeting and can't be disturbed. You want to see disturbed? Stick around. Hey, okay, look, wait a minute. <laughs> you have any idea what it took for us to get here? Any idea at all? Look, I am terribly sorry, but rules are rules, and you're too late. Excuse me. Like hell we're late. Like hell is right. Like hell is right. Oh. I have an idea. What? Well, that's quite a little fort you guys build there. Thank you, sir. Kind of makes me want to play a game of cowboys and Indians. And the cowboy falls in love with the Indian maiden, and then they're just going to... Hello, we'll go over and here, won't the we? And then the warrior brother comes and comes and does them in with a spear, right? That's what means. Quite a little fort you built there for yourself, huh? You've got like a teepee going on in there. Uh, we, we were just messing around, you know, trying to give you guys some privacy. But I'm going to call the contractor tomorrow, and we're going to build him a bedroom. He's never had one before, so... That's a good idea. Why don't you get him to build us a hot tub in here while you're at it? Oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> I'll get it. Max, mind if I come in? Oh, wait, oh, Frank's here to see me, guys. Actually, I'm here, too. Uh, you know what? It's kind of private, too. We're going to take it outside. Did you talk, did you talk to Buzz? Talk to Buzz? Well, my dad's on a plane to Chicago right now. Yeah, but did he call you? Did you talk to him? What? Jesse, I don't know what you're getting at here, but i got to tell some people here something very important. I know, important, but listen, right? I need to tell you something. No, just let me finish. Listen, I don't mean to spring this on you, but I talked to the Department of Records, and we got a problem here. for me to sleep with Drew. I made a mistake. Yeah, you did. But in all fairness... In all fairness? You know, what, you I think I should forgive you and forget that, about this? I thought that we were finished. I thought it was over between us. Like it was a game, Danny. We were husband and wife. too sure about that. Look. Sue, mm. it's not too late for us. I know how you feel about me now. I, yeah. You know how I feel about you. We can, we can get through this. What can I do? Nothing. Uh, there's nothing that you can do, Danny. You broke my heart. 